Hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of my Fall of Four gameplay. And today we're we'll back here at Fort Strong. It's a little bit of a derpy name. And uh, yeah, I had to wait a little bit and uh, also had to check out my uh, cat. She had a bit of an injury this, uh, this weekend, unfortunately, as I was. Uh, Going outside to buy something, she uh, she was going on the um, outside the home in the uh, what is it in English? <clears throat> the building at the we we are at the uh, third floor, I think it's in English, and uh, she fell all the way to the first floor. Luckily, she hit the. Uh, both these things like in front now which people hold on to when she hit it with her chest and yesterday we were at the uh, doctor and um, it seems she didn't have a, a big injury but she's very very old I had this cat since I was like 16 she's very very old there isn't much left to properly identify these remains and uh, when the cats get old, the problem is you can't operate on them since the uh, anesthesia uh, slows down the heart rate a little bit and it, it might happen that the heart doesn't start up again, so uh, yeah. She got some painkillers and now she's a little bit better, but... Uh, not amazingly so usually cats don't like to show weakness when they're hurt so yeah yeah you found me wow oh my oh my god what the f what is, what kind of weapon is this wow it shoots really slow but wow does it hurt Are you kidding me? This is like God mode. Wow. Oh, righty. Let's see a uh, crit. Oh my God. Wow, this weapon doesn't mess around. God damn. I'm still taking quite some damage, but what I guess is to be expected quite a little bit. I think now I'm on water, I think. Where is it? Uh, I don't remember what it was called. Purified light. Actually, let me check this... Uh, just to make sure I didn't build it for nothing. Oh, this does quite nice damage as well. Wow. Wow, it's accurate. Wow. God damn. <laughs> and I thought this thing was automatic, but it seems it also has semi-automatic uh, mods in it. Which is pretty nice. Oh, this is the one you don't need to reload anymore, I see. Yeah. Right, I don't think I found any of this yet. By the way, are you gonna use that hammer or uh, you just wanna stand there and look cool? Man, I love this weapon. <laughs> and I feel a bit too OP with it, to be perfectly honest. We'll see, maybe the uh, game throws some stuff at me that will uh, turn the tides a little bit. Moldy food, my... Exactly what I'm not looking for. What I'm not looking for. Hmm. 
This place is pretty, pretty empty. I'm kind of uh, expecting pro snap. Okay, communism, communism is coming. Be vigilant. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, a tape, okay. Word came down that the army just unloaded the first batch of the uh, M42s this morning. I've only seen the specs for these little beauties on paper. So Private Bertram and I snuck down to take an early look. When I heard that the eggheads were designing a manned portable nuke launcher, I thought they were nuts. But they actually got the damn thing to work. And after seeing the real thing sitting right in front of me, I think they could be just enough to tip the balance of this war in our favor. I mean, can you imagine the look on the enemy's face when we get dropped into Anchorage carrying That's it. babies? Well, I guess you didn't... I don't remember actually. I did the Battle of Anchorage on the Fallout 4 DLC, but I don't remember finding a fat man in that one. This area has obviously been abandoned. Well, uh, I don't think abandoned is uh, the right word. It has new settlers now. Oh, a mini nuke. Nice. What the? Oh, nice magazine. Oh, a stealth one. <laughs> Who goes there? <laughs> Man, I actually wonder how many of these I do have now. Uh, stats, perks. Let's see. Oh, six. Oh, I still have to find quite a few of them. Still not bad. Judging from the I doubt. It's safe to assume we're the first people to investigate this location. Oh, I don't want the key. Uh, right. Totally forgot what I have to say. Anyway. I can't believe I'm still finding these terrible weapons. General Brock's Terminal. I think this opens the... Oh, it has journal. I thought it would open the uh, safe there. <laughs> As of today, Commando Force Strong has passed to me. I am looking forward to helping the US Army test some, some of its experimental weapon system at our facility. I That's why the uh, buildings outside are all destroyed because he used that <laughs> uh, fat man. So I doubt they have such a big. Uh, wow, do they have such a big facility under this fort to test that kind of weapon? I've already had the man preparing the island for for testing operations by tearing down the old barracks and constructing a simulated town. <laughs> Since we'll be fighting the enemy on an urban front, I think the best way to test this weapon is by seeing how well they punch through civilian structures. We've been testing the new batch of T-51B power armor. Wow, maybe I'll get one of those here. Suits the D armor corps of engine. That sounds so weird. Army corps. Of engineers just rolled off the assembly line. I'm impressed with the amount of protection they afford our soldiers, yet allow me a great deal of mobility. Oh, them. I've noticed that the soldiers are still having trouble jumping in these things because of the suit's weight. They often tip over on hard landings. I've had the maintenance boys look at it and they're suggesting added, uh, adding a gyroscope and shock absorbers to the lower torso. I'll pass it up to the chain and see if I can get Washington to spend the extra money it'll cost for the modification. Right. Things are standing to heat up overseas, so Washington is pushing us to cut our project turnaround times in half. I told them that 
would be dangerous, dangerous, but it seems like we don't have much of a choice. I've decided to split my staff into Alpha Team and Bravo Team so we can work on two projects at a time. The manpower will be reduced, but I'm convinced that we'll still be able to maintain our new schedule. I am going to put Alpha Team on Power Armor and Bravo Team on the new M42 Fatman launchers. Also, this is the name for it. M42. Alpha team just shipped out the first batch of T-51B suits to the front of to the front in China. Reports are already coming in that the suits are performing better, better than expected. Chewing through enemy tanks and armor like they were paper. Yeah, I don't think that has to do anything with the freaking armor itself. Word has it that some of the enemy troops are even surrendering when they catch sight of the power armor troops hauling their 5mm minigun. Looks like Alpha Team has done well since the weekend pass in Boston. Bravo Team is having a heck of a time getting the M42 not to shoot far enough away from its firing position. The problem is that the warhead is still too heavy to fire the distance required. Our simulated soldiers are still soaking far too many reds and suffering blast burns. Wow. One of the technicians has suggested a radical idea of using a conventional depleting subcharge to catapult around rapidly out of the launcher. <clears throat> Calculations look sound, so I am going to let him give it a try. After a few design setbacks and the loss of one of our testing squads, we finally, we finally perfected the M42 launcher's firing mechanism. Washington has uh, been uh, riding me to wrap this project off, up, but with a weapon this potent, I was inclined to take my time. We sent the launchers ahead to the supply yard in Mississippi. And we're uh, just waiting for the go ahead to ship the warheads wherever they need to, to go. Hopefully we can get those nukes out of here before the month, month is out. I don't feel comfortable sleeping 20 feet above enough nukes to reduce this island to ash. Well, I hope I find a lot of them then. <laughs> Master safe, you say. Let's see what you're hiding. Um, uh, okay, oh nice, I'm next, very close to a level up, <laughs> gonna have to think hard what on what I really wanna get, I mean, I'm thinking of getting that nuclear scientist or whatever it was called to, uh, uh, save up a lot more fusion cores. <sighs> But then again, I could probably uh, just buy them. I just don't know how much the Gatling laser uses. Hmm, interesting. wonder if I can get up there for here, but it looks a bit too steep. Oh, this is like a conference room. It had, it had to have some drink down there. Watch your step. There's quite a bit of debris here. And you don't say I'm probably gonna make a lot more also. Give me a laser rifle and my power armor, and I'll take on the world. Yeah, yeah, pipe down. We're not destroying the world yet. Okay, then how do I get up? Oh, I see. Alright. Uh, we really need a lift. Wait, does this go down, not up? Yeah, let me just try one thing. Yes. Because I think that lift goes somewhere... 
under the facility. Plus the sound. Pretty sure there's no more enemies, but still. Well, uh, at least on this floor, anyway. Okay, this looks a lot more complicated. Hmm. I just don't want to miss on stuff. But I'm pretty sure I can get up here. Oh, I did see some stuff you can actually loot like that rag, but besides that, I don't know. Let me just take another. I think I can get up here with a uh, jump. Yeah, I was thinking of the... Uh, what's it called? Jetpack. Actually, I... Wow. Next time I get in uh, back in town, I'll uh, I'll have to check it. I f because I forgot I, uh, I upgraded my science a little bit to check if I have new upgrades. Actually, I think I'm even gonna keep the park and try to get the uh, stuff I need for the jump pack. I'm gonna see. This uh, park I'm getting next is gonna be a bit of a uh, argument point as well. Or maybe they actually get have women around here. I shouldn't be so surprising, I guess. Every time I'm thinking army, I'm thinking men, but there are some women here and there sometimes. In blue suit. Caps. It's rather odd finding caps around here since uh, I'm pretty sure we didn't use that as uh, curing sea back in the days. Just from what I remember. About reading a little bit of, about the lore. <laughs> This is pretty interesting, the Fallout lore. <coughs> okay, I don't think there's room for two of us in this lift, but it seems you would want to rush here anyway. I'm pretty sure I can handle this. Anything they have to throw at me, unless they <laughs> throw a full group of behemoths down here, then I'm pretty sure I'm safe. Let's find out why. What the f... Okay. Most likely got teleported down here, but that looks weird. You say the Whoever or whatever created this mess might still be around. You mean like ghouls or... Quite a bit of debris here. All right, then. Maybe my stuff is actually working for a change. Maybe we'll find some kind of institute down here. That would be a Weird. Hmm, I didn't manage to hit. Wow. Oh. I hear something. Oh. Wow. Well, God damn. <laughs> Man, chill with the freaking grenades, jeez. Man, this weapon is a freaking murder machine. Oh, I'm already heavy, okay. 
That's not good. Purified water. Let's see you uh, carrying some stuff. Where did you go? What is he doing? Get back here, you are wearing a set. Um, what's he doing? Look at this place. You must hate these mutants as much as I do. Totally. Wait, wait, wait. Why do you hate super mutants so much? They're responsible for the death of a close friend, a brotherhood knight named Cutler. So when you ask if I hate them, I say hate's too gentle a word. These monstrosities are just another example of man blindly taking a step forward only to wind up stumbling two steps back. I've been fighting for years, trying to put a stop to this madness. And just when I thought we were getting the upper hand, along come the synths. I've seen what these super mutants do to people. Can you imagine what the synths would do to us if they ever got the upper hand? It would be Armageddon repeated. And maybe the end of everything. I'm pretty sure we're not the same kind of people. I don't people. mean to bore you with my rhetoric. I just want you to understand how important these missions are. Yes, yes. How could synths bring about our destruction? If the synths reached the point where they outnumbered mankind, how long would it take for them to decide we were no longer necessary? They certainly possess the capability to make more of their own kind, so we'd become expendable. And with Institute technology on their side, nothing could stop them. Not even the Brotherhood. It's a nightmare scenario almost too terrible to contemplate. Anyway, that's enough of that. What's important here is that you got the job done and secured these warheads. You should head back up to the Pridwin and talk to him. Oh, that was it? Wow. Well, sure he'll want to debrief was... you as soon as possible. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. Paladin Wait, Dance. where the f. Continue our mission, soldier. God damn. Are you leaving me behind or something? Well. Help yourself. Hopefully he didn't... Oh, of course he picked that junk. <laughs> Seriously, not sure what I'm kidding, but it's so freaking heavy. I'm gonna have to uh, make a little bit of a trip to the uh, <clears throat> town soon enough as I'm getting full of stuff. Is that really necessary? I'd rather see <laughs> Yeah. Are you serious? Seriously? I think he left me here. Wow. I'm an asshole. Oh well, hopefully uh, I have enough room to actually carry everything out. Whatever's left in here. Man, we're placed to... Okay, that's real. Pretty sure I killed a um, legendary here. I think he fell through the uh, floor or something. Hopefully, I can actually find him. First, I'll have to explore this place a little bit more. Looks like every enemy rushed in at the entrance when I uh, started the fight, and I think this place is pretty uh, small. I, uh, I'm still waiting to find that place which had the big amount of mini nukes. I 
aluminium everywhere. Oh, this looks like a uh, bit of a laboratory. Oh, this is like a weapon case. Interesting. Actually, let me see. I think I have to get more armor. Uh, yeah, to get the upgrades for the... Uh, what's it called? Uh, power armor upgrades. Should probably get this as well. Actually, we need more perception because I want to use... Uh, I guess hits to the body aren't all that bad. Anyway, let's get at least one point into uh, this one so I can save criticals. Yeah, I need at least one point in this. Ah. Yep. Yes, I really need to be able to save one. At least. In case a proc and I don't wanna just waste it. Or at least I hope it works like that. We'll uh, have to test run it. Radiation, radiation. And a lot of freaking ammo everywhere. Oh, wow, all these boxes are empty. I think they uh, kind of looted this space up. Better not see, see Behemoth freaking fat mines after this. Doing this mission, that would suck. Wow, a rocket launcher guy, man. That guy could have uh, ruined my day really, really, really badly, but I don't see the legendary dog. God damn. That really sucks. Man, that really sucks. Okay, whatever. Caryl type. What? What's so amazing about this thing? Uh, wow, lots of gears. Wow. Wow, that gives a lot of stuff, but very heavy. Very, very heavy. I should probably, probably, uh, uh, stop getting so much junk. Technical document, another one. Very nice. Bravo team testing terminal. Let's see what you have to say for yourselves. Things are getting tough around here. Brock has uh, decided to split our men into two teams. I drew one of the short straws, so I ended up in the M42 Batman launcher team, while most of my buddies are sitting pretty upstairs with the T51 suits. Also, I guess I'm not gonna find any of that old suit. I can't even begin to describe what a ridiculous idea the M42 is. A man portable mini nuke thrower that a trooper in the field is supposed to deploy at close range. I've been poring over that schematics and I have no idea how we're going to get this thing to throw a warhead far enough not to kill the soldier and lucky enough to be stuck with these death traps. We've uh, stripped the warhead weight down as much as possible, but I think we're looking at this the wrong way. Instead of trying to reduce the warhead's weight, we should try and amp the power of the thrower itself. I know that means adding weight to an already heavy piece of ordnance, but I don't think we have any choice. One of the guys just as we try ma uh, magnetics to push the warhead through like a rail gun, but a power pack would need to be the size of a suitcase. It'll keep picking away at this. I'll keep picking away at this problem and see what I can turn up. We lost two good soldiers this morning. They were on the surface testing the 
testing a mere variant of the lodge. Oh, I didn't have to do that myself. When one of the warheads misfired and hit the ground right where they were standing, poor bastards didn't even have a chance. We couldn't even find any remains to send home to their folks. So Brock told us just fill some cans with sand. <laughs> I'll send you that guy. I'll tell you, that guy doesn't give a crap about us. He's just worried about the brass back in Washington giving him a hard time. <laughs> I was in bed last night when I had one of those Eureka moments. I ran over to the night shift guys in the lab, felt all of, all of their drawings on the floor and starting sketching my idea. They must have thought I'd lost my mind. Six hours and about 14 cups of coffee later and I had it all mapped out. We use a small subcharge as a launching catalyst to catapult the warhead from the launcher. We'd have plenty of range and the subcharge could be built into the warhead itself. Brock seemed to like the plan and gave us the go ahead to prototype the device. I can't wait to try it out. I took the better part of a year and over a hundred tests firing, but the M42 is ready to be shipped out into the field. I can't believe I spent over a year on this single project. I feel pretty good knowing we are delivering a well-tested weapon to our own guys, fight guys fighting overseas. Now that's over, uh, I suppose Brock will move us on to something else, but for now I'm going to spend the rest of the month packing up these warheads to ship off base, okay. So I'm guessing I'm not gonna find a lot of uh, mini nukes or ammo. Well, that kinda sucks. That oh, I thought it was like a magazine. Oh, well, I guess not. Man, these guys are heavy on the smoking around here. Okay, I'm probably getting, I'm getting really close. Okay. I could probably run into more enemies down there. But I'm seriously not sure why that guy left. Like, really? Ah, I see. I'm guessing it doesn't have the payload, just the uh, structural stuff. Yeah, that doesn't help me a whole lot. Holy damn. Well, there uh we're gonna get a lot of uh, <coughs> warheads out of this place. Let's see if I can actually find a few more. I think I found like three mini nukes in here. That's not too uh, amazing, but since they're so rare, I really can complain. Well, why I did uh, manage to stockpile quite a few of them because I only used one so far trying to kill Kilag. Let's spot it. Well, I'm guessing that's it. Hopefully I didn't uh, skip a, a bubblehead or something, but I don't think I saw any. Just that magazine and let's spot it. Okay then. Let's see how I'm gonna manage to get back to base then. Right. Uh, just gonna try something really fast. I'm gonna see if uh, if the body gets respawned somewhere where I can loot. Looks like that's a no-no. Okay then. Bit of a bummer, that was like the only legendary in here and something happened with... Alright, then. Maybe he's waiting for me upstairs, but I really doubt it. 
I think he got bored of me. Maybe he just doesn't like me. <laughs> oh, that was pretty fast. Although it was uh, quite dangerous in here. Actually, that last uh, room down there, that would have been a bit of a headache. Just looking at how many uh, <coughs> grenades were for, uh, throwing my way. Yeah, what an asshole. He totally left me here. Wow. Ah, oh, well, at least I'm gonna enjoy my trip back to the uh, Pride one. I hope at least. Hopefully he d he's not selling my stuff. That would <laughs> really get me pissed. Right, let's see what kind of... I thought I heard a uh, helicopter. Maybe they were coming for me. Bird, bird, whatever. Okay. Yeah, that looks pretty bad. Yes. Hmm. I don't think I'm gonna get a lot of uh, action going back home. Maybe I'm gonna get a few Meyer Lurks, but I don't think anything else. Ooh, another one. Let's see what kind of... Uh... Oh, very nice I'm coming back for. Yeah, these things are way too heavy. I'm coming back for those... Uh... At some point, because the... Uh... Those are X, uh, the enclave armor, XO ones, and those are very valuable. Kinda disappointed I managed to find a whole suit. Just a bit, cause now I kinda feel like a powerhouse. Rounding uh, bits by bits would have been a bit better. Oh well, it's not the end of the world. It's still survival, so I still can get thrashed. Oh, pretty nice hangout. Ah, uh, no freaking enemies anywhere. Wow, that's gonna be a little. Pain in the ass to explore, I'm guessing. Hmm, let's see, maybe I can... Uh... Maybe they're gonna swim all the way here, who knows. Yes, they are, well, nice. Let's see what you got. Wow, these ones take, take the hits like pros. Man, it fired so many shots on the... Uh, on the vault. Oh boy, I probably... Uh, should not... Uh, abuse that too much. Because I'm probably gonna waste a lot of ammo doing that. Actually, let me see, does it exchange a whole cartridge? Oh no, oh nice. Looks like regular ammo. North Hagen Beach. Show me a uh, Marler Queen, please. I guess no. Don't much care for good neighbor. That place is nothing but trouble. Oh, you're pretty nice looking. Crops coming in pretty good. Okay. 
Oh, this is a bit, little bit of a settlement, I guess. What do you want? I'm uh, just looking around. Don't mind me. Pretty nice uh, setup you have. All right. Hopefully, some bad stuff doesn't happen. Still, these people, uh, how do they grow stuff in the sand? I'm, I'm uh, not getting it. Well, I'm not gonna go that way. I'm gonna go straight to the freaking base. That's probably gonna take a while to uh, explore as well. What the f? Is this. Is this city down? Well, that's some kind of. Or, okay. What the f- oh sh- I thought they would be friendly, up, Jesus. Lady Lovelace takes on the Iron Maiden in a hit-to-hit patch. Good old <laughs> what is it now? Get the hell out of here. Alright. Oh damn it. Yeah, what the fuck is it? Man, this is a uh... I'm not even Come see what they're on, shooting from. <laughs> oh, really? Damn it. Screw this. Hmm. Oopsie daisy. No. Oh, wow. Man, this thing uh, wrecks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, at least the robots aren't piece of chunk either. Bob's your uncle, all the rest. Uh, the only thing I'm not getting why uh, why aren't the robots getting pissed? <laughs> the music is still going, okay. Thing fries. Okay, let's. Uh, really? Wow, level one. Okay. This has a lot of uh, buildings, it's hard to actually uh, get to your enemies. Level 1, okay. I guess this is something like the combat zone. Maybe I'll get another guy here as well. Yeah, yeah. Probably looting this place is gonna be a pain in the ass. And probably a bad idea considering uh, how much weight I can carry.
Hmm. <laughs> That's rather weird, because I think those things running are uh, hostile. Yeah, they look hostile. Tough. I'm not gonna like looting this whole place up. Okay, level one raider. Would have been a lot more interesting if it was some kind of a friendly crown or something. What the? Where is this guy? I think it's upstairs somewhere. Not sure what the explosions was all about. Iron Maiden, okay. Uh, yeah, just tell me how to get up there and I'll show ya. Eager Ernie, okay. I seem to have a lot of health, so uh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> I'm... I'm dumbstruck what I can say with this weapon. What else can you probably say about it? Oh, nice. I guess we're killing these as well. Ooh. Oh, this one's the one uh, singing, I see. I think I saw one of those. What the f... Did he start bouncing away or something? That was pretty weird. Anyway, let's see how much it takes for me to uh, loot this place. I kind of had a bit of a warning when I saw one of those people in spikes. So, uh, the bungle repertoire. I think that's like music. I think I'm gonna check it out. Offline just to be sure I'm maybe gonna play it if it's not music. And I don't even know if I wanna load this place up. I'm gonna try to hold myself on picking up junk. I think I killed one of them around here somewhere. It was around here, I think. Pretty sure I killed one around here. Yeah. Wow, they have a lot of stuff. Nope, damn it. Combat armor. I don't need that. Wow, I thought I uh, stepped on the um, on a mine. And this is probably gonna take a while. I should probably stop just looting junk.
Mm, lots of caps. Wow, lots of caps. Can stay where aluminium of that thing is too heavy, and I'm not really missing it all that much. I can still find more. Besides, I don't have many upgrades to buy now, anyway. Probably gonna go and upgrade this little piece of machinery. between the uh, next episodes. Man, there's a lot of junk around here. God damn. Such a freaking pack rat. Wanna stop looting when my uh, hand says no, you should loot it. Man, this place has a lot of aluminium. It looks rather complicated too. Hopefully none of the uh, buildings around town is hollow, but... Oh my god, I hope... I hope I didn't kill that those robots and uh, wasn't supposed to. So it's not the ED then. Sweet. Oh my god. Ooh, I think I'm getting more experience. Scramble root. Okay, I don't know what, what all that stuff is. <clears throat> Probably doesn't matter all that much. Nice. Well, more experience for me anyway. Really? Novice luck. Sweet. I'm slowly, slowly getting to my limit. Junk. Um, that was the of the good stuff, I guess. Wow, another robot control. Okay, we can probably make them attack the uh, guys up there. I pick like a lot of uh, yeah tin cans I don't need. Not seeing those new robots. 
Knuckles, oké. Okay. Ah, Freaking allergies. What the hell are we doing? That probably does matter. Wow, Tin Man, you have a lot of health, buddy. <laughs> Lady Lovelands, interesting name. Man, doing that with this weapon is wow. <laughs> it shoots so many freaking. Uh, So many rounds. Man, I really wish I could carry this stuff. But I think I have enough circuitry. It lasts me ages now. I certainly remember there were three of them. Anyway, let's... Uh Hopefully it was an enemy. But I'm pretty sure the Brotherhood also uses these guys. Yeah, hopefully it was an enemy. Oh, let's see how good you are now. Wow. Wow. Man, this weapon doesn't mess around. Even these guys are a joke. Oh my. Wow. Wow, that kind of messed me up. <laughs> I'm gonna have to watch the replay. I didn't see what did so much damage. I think that <laughs> punching combo messed me up pretty badly. Wow. GG, dude. Wow. You uh, messed me up a little bit. Wow, two, two cores. I'm uh, happy with that. And I'm pretty sure most of these uh, buildings aren't hollowed out at all. So that's gonna cut a lot of my exploration into half, at least. I'm probably not gonna get the clothes inside these uh, luggages. Yes. Oh, just armor, okay. That makes it a lot easier for me to decide. That's it. Ah, okay. <laughs> well, hopefully that sentry wasn't from the Brotherhood of Steel and I won't get a kick in my ass for doing that. Oh. Alrighty. I didn't even notice that one. G freaking G. <laughs> wow, also had a uh, one of those gas gas canisters that would have been very very deadly. How oh, unbelievable there were people down here when the bomb fell. Oh nice. Trigger man. Oh, I know these guys. The, uh, that quest I didn't manage to finish up <laughs> with the um, that guy had to rescue his uh, 
girlfriend or wife or whatever she was. The guy at the bar back in Diamond City and I had to come and help him out with something and there were uh, trigger men there. Hmm. Interesting. Well, at least there's a lot of ammo, but it's probably because of my uh, amazing um, perk. Actually, pretty happy with it. It's a pretty nice money maker. But at least it doesn't make me spend a lot of money. I'm just finding enough ammo to do whatever I want, even uh, play around with a lot more weapons. Hmm. Oh yes, money, give me money. Hmm. Not too bad. I'm really making big strides not to try and uh, do too much. Club holster now. Okay, let's see what this one says. More freaking robot control. Oh, wait a minute, does it show if there's uh, one more? Oh, I killed all the robots. Okay, that's good. Pretty interesting place now, I just have to find how to get up there. Uh, and uh, loot the second floor. Hmm. Maybe it's somewhere around here. No trap this time, okay. But oh no, I, no, the experience uh, food I want uh, to make is the uh, with squirrel bits, not iguana. Oh, yeah, totally. <laughs> Let's say uh, I found a more inventive way to get up there at least. I'm surprised there was no magazine in here, but I'm. Might find one in the big building. <clears throat> Hopefully, it's eager or noise. What? Associate note. I don't want to get that. I am not putting any more freaking keys from now on. Or passwords for that matter. Yeah, damn, I forgot to freaking name something with Ernie. Oh, eager. Wasn't it eager, Ernie? Sucks. I always skim over the name really fast and I forget it. So I'm usually thinking ahead of what I'm doing. Uh, 
<laughs> I don't know where it is. Man, so much freaking junk. <clears throat> Pretty sure that's what I read the Eagerabnet. What the freaking hell is going on? Oh, associates note, Eagerabnet was the key cheese. Why I raised the tribute again? We're paying almost half of our uh, take to Libertalia now. I got Tommy working over the books. I need you to find a better way to rig these racers. Take a couple of bots of fine and see what you can do. Hmm. Well, it didn't uh, show me any uh, place off on the map, or at least I think it didn't. I don't think looting the key would. Mm. Oh, actually, uh, Igor Arden was this guy, I think, yeah. I see now. Probably something to loot around here somewhere. Oh, nice magazine, eh? What's this? Tumblr store. <laughs> exactly what I don't need. <laughs> oh, well. These things are way too uh, far in the game to be useful for anything. Master control. Those robots were really running uh, in a freaking uh, straight Indian uh, line, so not sure how much you can probably uh, read more than that. Uh, more robot controls, okay. I'm guessing there's supposed to be some kind of safe around here, maybe. I'm totally not seeing it, though. Well. I am totally not seeing it. I get what the uh, password was, was was for, but the key. No. Oh, right. Oh, a freaking storm. Okay, it's gonna make me exploring this little bit of the city. Uh, pain in the ass. Hmm. Got it. Oh, that's pretty nice value. I can probably take the key safely now. Get the hell out of here. Still kind of want to loot a little bit. Would be nice if... Uh, Big um, hordes of ghouls. <laughs> GG game, that was nice, nicely placed. If uh, hordes of ghouls would go outside when uh, this starts, make it a lot more interesting. Man, what kind of freaking minds are these? I seriously can't see them. 
Well, at least I'm getting some caps out of it, but we're really messing up. Oh, nice. Messing up my uh, armor. Hmm. Okay. Uh, how should I do this? I pr probably should not go on the... I really want to go on the uh, highway, but I should probably stick to getting back. Before I get hijacked in doing something really... That really takes a while. Okay then. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of buildings around here to explore, oh, but I'm gonna try to uh, keep it to a minimum. I wonder if this is a full-size town or what. Up with this place, what the f uh, Oh, I still can uh, can run. This that's probably around the limit though. There's probably a lot to explore around here. And probably a lot to explore in the main base, but uh, I think that's... Uh, actually gonna think about it, might even loot... Loot the uh, air base while offline, because that's probably gonna take a lot of time and it's probably gonna be boring as hell, because there's no fighting or anything. Yeah. And I'm uh, guessing this is a pretty big place as well. I'm probably gonna do just that and if I find very, something very very special like a magazine or something I'm just gonna remember uh, if I find something special I'm gonna remember it and show it to show it in the next uh, video. Reporting for duty, sir. Oh, I think this is where they were. I think they were shooting at those barrels, I think. I Man, my... Well. My, uh... Armor is getting blown off, but I think I'm most assuredly gonna go next to the video and, uh... Repair my armor and also uh, upgrade my Gatling gun. Gatling laser. Anyway, just wanna give it quest and see what happens next. Yeah, I'm not sure how many people would give you their uh, high end stuff just by asking them. Man, the regular one looks so freaking small. Especially compared to the minigun anyway. Ah, it was a piece of cake. I'm glad you feel that way. <laughs> because it only gets more difficult from here. In order to bring the Institute to its knees, we need to use every weapon at our disposal. I try to supply my soldiers with the best. That's why I'm giving you these. Signal grenades can call a vertebrate to your location when you oh, nice. aerial transport. Simply throw one to the ground, and the vertebrate will hone in on the unique electromagnetic smoke it emits. Once you're aboard, use the map on your pit boy to interface with the pilot's navigation system, so he'll be able to take you wherever you need. Oh, nice. Will the vertebrate stay and help me find... 
fight? I'm afraid I can't spare a fully armed gunship for this task. A standard transport will have to suffice. Of course. Nothing stopping you from using the door gun while in flight. Where can I get more signal grenades? I'd use the supply I gave you sparingly. These devices are far more complex than a standard smoke grenade. Should you need more, you should acquire them from Proctor Teagan. Oh, right. The best weapon for survival out here is a pocket full of caps. Signal grenades are usually reserved for our paladins. In your case, you should be grateful that I'm making an exception. Now, I'm sure you're aware that Fort Strong was simply the first step towards the liberation of the Commonwealth. An even greater task lies ahead. By now, I'm sure you've deduced that our arrival in the Commonwealth wasn't coincidental. We're here because of a unique energy reading recorded by Paladin Dance's recon team, according to our scribes. The reading indicated a level of technology... That is the house. Oh, only the by the way, he left me there. The moment this information came to light, our mission became clear. The Institute. And oh, I think this mission involves him more next, and that's why I uh, at all costs. To he moved this away. Goal, we need to locate the Institute's headquarters. I've had our scribes meticulously searching the Commonwealth, but they've come up empty handed. <laughs> Sounds like you're gonna have me crawling through the sewers now. It could be the sewers, the transit tunnels, or maybe an old vault. We just don't have enough information right now. I want you to get out there and become our eyes and ears on the ground. You seem to have a vested interest in locating the Institute before we met. So I'm uh, confident you'll I... travel in the right circles. If you discover a way in, I need you to report it to me immediately. Any questions, Knight? Any suggestions where I should look next? All I can suggest is that you keep your eyes and ears open, Knight. We have every available scribe working on a way into the Institute. It's only a matter of time before a method presents itself. Well, um... Elder Maxon? Questions, Knight? What about those energy readings that Paladin Dance's recon team detected? Our scribes are confident that the energy readings are from Institute technology, due to the unusually high frequency. But the source is unknown. We're still detecting them on occasion. But by the time we set a team to investigate, they disappear. Just watch your step. I wouldn't be surprised if the energy reading were caused by some type of institute weapon. Is there anything else? Aren't there any pre-war records about the institute that might help us? Our records indicate that the institute was born from the remnants of a pre-war educational facility. The Commonwealth Institute of Technology. The ruins of the facility are at the center of the city. But we've already searched them thoroughly. The location appears to have been abandoned long ago. So it appears that the trail ends there. Anything else, Knight? Well, I wouldn't mind if you showed me where that was so right I can now, take a look as well, well, maybe. Dismissed. Uh, well, this is getting kind of long, so yeah. Um... I really don't know where dance has gone, but I probably gonna gonna have to uh, find him uh, another way. Hmm. Kind of sucks with the weight, but I'm probably gonna find a way to sell some stuff and get back home after that one. Anyway, if you liked my uh, video, please leave a comment, maybe a like, or maybe a subscribe, and I'll catch you on my next episode. Hopefully with some uh, new toys, but not too new. Anyway, see you later.